Hi, this is Patrick Decay, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial for intestines today. Um, what you're going to need is a roll of paper towels. Uh, for the purposes, I'm only going to use one. You're also going to need some liquid latex. I prefer using Vin Nye because they sell theirs pre-skin tone colored. Uh, and you're also going to need a sponge. This is a block sponge. Great for spreading around liquid latex. You're also going to be needing a flat surface. This is me uh, spreading the liquid latex around in the shape of at least the length of the paper towel. See? And you want to get it nice and all over the place. Make sure you're going to want to put a couple of layers down. This is actually my second layer. And for this one I used a regular clear liquid latex. The first layer was used Bin Nye for the uh, color, but the second layer really doesn't matter. Plus this stuff tends to dry a lot stickier. And that's kind of what you want. So you just spread it out making sure like I said it's about the length of your paper towel and you're going to let that dry while that's drying up you may want to prepare your paper towel so what we're going to do is we're going to just roll it up And after we roll it up, we're going to stick it right on the edge. Make sure it lines up. If it's too long, kind of rip off and make sure. The basic thought behind this is like a sausage wrapper. So you're going to put it in there and you're going to start to peel up the edging of your latex. The paper should stick to it, and you should get, it happens eventually, you should get a lip, and once you get that lip, pull the lip onto it. Make sure not to crush the uh, tissue on the inside because then you'll come out with really small intestines, unless that's what you want, worms or small intestines, this is what it would look like. Peeling the latex and sticking it on the other side. And now that all that's done, you just roll it. And you see, it comes out looking like that. Just a straight, kind of little thing, but the fun thing about liquid latex is if you don't powder it, it sticks to itself. You see that? So, what you can do with that, you pour blood on it, and you see even after pulling it apart, you just roll it together, you pull it apart again, and you got kind of the squished looking organ that you can add to any uh, clothing or sticking out as guts. You can make it much longer than this and uh, chew on it. Let me get it up close. Um, like I said, you know, cover it with a little bit of blood and it'll look more realistic. If you would like, you can add little veins if you wanted to. Little uh, blue marks all up and down it. Uh, small intestine, I guess it came out to be because I squished it a little. And I only used one napkin, mind you. Uh, two coats of liquid latex. One, Ben Nye, the other, some off-brand I got from Spirit. 
Uh, I think it came out pretty well, and I'll probably be using it at Comic Palooza this weekend, so if you're in the Houston area, come check me out. Here's a quick look at some of the other organs I've made. The uh, small intestine to match the other small intestine, and a kind of piece of large intestine. And you see, when you gather them all together like that, it would come out to look like some intestines. Uh, rip a hole in your shirt and have them protruding out. Uh, play with them. Scare people with them. Pretend like you're ripping them off yourself. It's a lot better than a condom filled with peanut butter, which is uh, the worst special effects thing I've ever heard of. Um.